Guess what, guys? I am in Diddy and Dixie's cage. Dixie certainly looks a little bit thinner than she did yesterday. By that, I mean I know she laid some eggs. So let's go ahead and see what we've got. I've got a little egg box over here, and I can actually see eggs in this box. So we are going on a little bit of an egg hunt right now. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. We've got rhino iguana eggs. I don't know how many there are here. Looks like some of them are a little bit deflated. I'll go ahead and set them up here. These ones look really good. These ones look really, really good, and I was worried about the fertility of these guys, so this is amazing that the fertility looks good. These ones are a little bit crumpled up. I'm not 100% sure. We'll go ahead and candle all these eggs in a minute. Get these in here. I can see a little bit of albumin out of here. So when she was burying them, she probably trampled on them a little bit and punctured that one, but it does look fertile. These ones, I still think they look fertile, but they're definitely a little bit desiccated. Let's see what we got here. Got one more here. Again, a little desiccation, but we'll be okay there. And looks like one last one here. I'll just go ahead and look through the rest of this just to make sure there's nothing else in here because she could bury anywhere in here. Looks like that's it right now, guys. So look at that, guys. Whoo, doggy. We got some rhino iguana eggs. Diddy and Dixie are gonna be parents. I'm so excited about it. Looks like we've got two, four, six, eight, beautiful eggs. Dixie, you did so good, girl. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. What a great way to start the day. I mean, oh my gosh. So I'll go ahead and count these up. Just make sure that there's good veins in them. Hopefully the ones that are desiccated up a little bit will pop out. Again, I'm not sure why they're wrinkled like that. She might have punctured them, who knows, but they might still be good. So super exciting. Baby rhino iguanas. I tell you what, hardly anyone breeds them up north. I mean, it is rare, and I'm sure this is the first rhino eggs in Michigan ever, as far as I know. So that is a great accomplishment. I am so excited about it, and that means that they love their enclosure and they love everything about it enough to produce little baby eggs. So let's go ahead and candle them and see what we have. First egg. Looks like there's some red in here. But yep, there's definitely some network of veins. Got another one there. This one's got a network of veins. That one's got networks of veins. Here's a network of veins. Can't really see inside that one yet. This one's pretty deflated, but there's definitely fertility there. So we'll see if that comes back. Same here, so okay. So there's definitely eight fertile eggs here. I'm gonna be honest with you, a couple of them look like they got punctured by her claws when she was probably digging or something like that. So it definitely looks like we've got three or four solid ones for sure. And then I think there's two or three that I'm pretty sure are gonna make it. One or two are kind of doubtful to be honest with you. But even if we hatched out three of them, I would be absolutely over the moon. So regardless, we'll see how things go. These guys go at about 84 degrees temperature and they incubate for about three months. So we have a long way ahead of us, but we have rhino eggs and that is freaking awesome. Good morning, Reptile Army. I hope the start of your day is amazing. You guys know that we've had Ben and Jerry, the two-headed snake, for well over two years now, and he's been in a lot of videos, both on YouTube and Instagram and all over the place. Uh, well, just the other day, we posted a video, and it went viral. And uh, sure enough, all kinds of news agencies all over the planet started doing stories on him. I mean, newspapers over in the UK, newspapers in Germany, and a ton of newspapers here in the US actually did a story on Ben and Jerry. It's so cool because I love them so much and they're so incredible and it's kind of funny that how I can have something for so long and then all of a sudden it goes viral and all kinds of people are like, look at the two-headed snake. So it's kind of cool that Ben and Jerry got his due and a lot of people now know about this little monkey. I can't wait for the future to see all those people come and meet him in person. You guys know already the movement that is sweeping the reptile world. Reptile Army, that's right. And guess what? We're about to drop all the old merchandise like the Bella Bananas and all the other stuff that we did over on Reptile reptilearmy.com so make sure you see all the new collections that we've already dropped and then we're going to drop an old collection as well as some new stuff here in the next month too so go to reptilearmy.com support the movement be our soldiers i think you guys are going to love it well i know we had some milk frogs recently go into amplexus which means that the male and the female were attached for a few days for a little while that doesn't mean that necessarily that they were successful in breeding but it doesn't mean that they're trying which is really really cool it means that we're getting we're getting something right at least that they that they feel confident to do that today i actually walked in and i had to go grab my boy Anthony just to really show you guys this and it's actually our uh, uh, it's actually our milk frogs and though and they're actually sitting in the water and, and I'm pretty sure that female is actually about to start laying eggs I don't know exactly the process here because I'm not really a frog guy 
but I do know but I do know a few little minor things about Amazon milk frogs and that one of the big things is that they lay eggs in the water inside the water versus just like our mossy frogs when we did when we had them lay eggs they had done it all over that one that one tree branch so it's a little different with that species they go in the water so I'm hoping eventually another one day two three days that we'll actually see her actually out of the water but a little lighter and a little few a few more eggs inside that water that'll be really really cool come on guys let's go come on Dixie come on Dixie come on come on there you go baby there you go come on Dixie you're such a good girl you're a, over here you're such a good girl okay I'm going to just give you a bunch of treats a bunch of treats here 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 it's so cool of course I'm just trying to treat these guys for being such great breeders Look at Dixie. Of course, she's gonna need to get fattened up a little bit too. Now, you don't wanna give them too much protein to be totally honest with you. So a little bit here, just as a kind of treat for them. And like I said, it's really good to see that she's eating. The one thing I did notice is that she's kind of very dominant over Diddy now, which is weird because Diddy for the last couple months has been dominant, but you can kind of see how she's even acting. Almost like she's bossing him around a little bit. And I don't know if it's she's mad that I took her eggs and she's blaming him or something like that. It's definitely still a little bit cage aggressive right now. Even going inside when we actually cleaned out the nest box, she was kind of almost like attacking our legs and stuff like that. So now we have it completely cleaned out, trying to get it disinfected so that the egg smell is kind of gone. Don't bite my fingers, guys. They are so crazy. So hopefully she can kind of go back to her normal self. I mean, don't get me wrong. She's still absolutely beautiful. There's no doubt about it. Here you go, girl. There you go, baby. There you go. So she's still super tame. She likes pets. She's everything like that. But again, this is her first time ever laying eggs. And it's the first time I've ever had eggs from rhino iguanas. So I don't really know what to expect, to be totally honest with you. But uh, she seems to be at least eating good, which means she's going to beef up. Now, these guys only lay one clutch per year. So she's got all the way till next year another 12 months before she's gonna lay but I am so excited about the potential of hatching these I mean can you believe that we have rhino eggs I mean again we have three months to go guys so we don't know what's gonna happen but let's hope we get some baby rhinos I mean it's absolutely incredible I love these guys so much I just wanted to get them out make sure they're okay and give them some treats so that they're really happy and stuff like that Here, Dixie, come on come on girl come on there you go baby such amazing animals. Can you believe we have rhino eggs? More baby snakes always hatch in here, which is always exciting. And obviously we'll be showing you guys lots of baby snakes on the vlog. But we'll also show some on the Patreon page, just so you guys don't get overloaded. So uh, link in the description to Patreon if you want to see the extra content. Because uh, again, if I show you guys every baby snake that we hatch, you guys are going to be like, all right, Brian, we've seen enough baby snakes. You know what I mean? But this clutch is actually pretty cool. It's actually a head scaleless creamsicle. And so we have some creamsicle corns right here, which are really beautiful animals. Animals. I mean, they're just this kind of really nice orange corn snake. And then we have a whole host of other stuff. Look at this little guy biting me like crazy. It's got a really interesting pattern though. It's really like reduced and stuff like that. And then take a look at this one right here. This one's head's actually sticking out. It's just a scaleless corn snake. So interestingly enough, it doesn't look like we've got any creamsicle scaleless, but we do have another little scaleless right here. And of course, these are all het for scaleless and het for creamsicle. And we definitely have another little scaleless. Why are you biting me, little monkey? And then we have a few more eggs left to hatch. So we might have some creamsicle scalas in the eggs. Not sure, but nevertheless this clutch is probably about 90% hatched out, so I cannot wait to see what they actually come up with when they hatch out and those scalas are always absolutely beautiful. Speaking of beautiful, we have some beautiful Pueblin milk snakes. Of course, Pueblins are always just I don't know, when I just, I always talk about it. Milk snakes are amazing. That black, red, yellow, and then Pueblins just happen to be really great animals. Super Whoa! Come on now. Oh boy, they are springy though. They are springy. Okay, okay, look at these guys. Uh oh, I'm in trouble. Hang on a second here. Hang on a second here. Come on, come on, stay in there, stay in there. Woo, woo, woo. Okay. Okay, all the heads are in there. Ooh, dog, yeah, I tell you what. Puffins are just great. They're good, easy animals to work with. Babies eat really well. They produce really well. I recommend them when it comes to cool milk snakes. Let's see what we have here. Ooh, this is another good clutch here. Let's see, we actually had a crimson scaleless bred to a het albino crimson scaleless. So look at all these cool animals here. This looks like a little hypo. Whoa, 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 oh boy. 
I tell you, this is an interesting animal here too. Oh my gosh, this is actually a scaleless corn snake, but it's got a lot of scales. So at first I thought it was just a normal corn snake. And I tell you, oh, what the heck did you just do? Oh my gosh, so we have some hyposcalus. We don't have any crimson scaleless, which is just basically be a hypo Miami phase. But we have a little snow corn in there and a bunch of other stuff. Oh my goodness, these babies are all over the place today. But again, nice scaleless corns, which is always cool. Then I like this clutch right here. This is actually just aneurythristic Texas rat snakes. This is a snake that we actually popped out maybe he just bit me. Do you believe that? So these snakes we popped out about 10 years ago, just spontaneously, the first aneurysmics ever. And we've been working with them ever since. I don't know. They're just cool. They're a silver snake. They're kind of interesting, and I like them a lot. So again, lots of baby snakes hatching, and more over on my Patreon. That's the guy you're looking at is. I'm leaving that for Mike and Bruce. I have to bring Bugatti, the Bolins Python, outside in the natural sunlight because his iridescence is absolutely incredible. I think that actually Bolins Pythons have the most incredible iridescence out of any snake. Even though Night Fury is an amazing iridescent snake, you still don't see the same colors, the purples, the kind of yellows and blues that come through. I mean, there's something about Bolins Pythons. I mean, they are truly one of the most incredible animals. So I had to bring them out in the sun and show them off. And I tell you what, this animal is incredible. Now, these guys will get much larger. He's only a little over a year old right now, and already he's doing really good. Can you imagine when this is a seven or eight foot snake, you know, as thick around as a softball or something like that? Even more iridescence is gonna come out for sure, but wow, this thing out in the sun is absolutely ridiculous. I love this snake. It is absolutely incredible, and I can't believe I actually own a Bolin's Python. In my whole life, I never thought I'd own one, and to actually have one now is unbelievably incredible, but Wow, just take a look at the way this thing glimmers and shimmers in the sunlight. Another first to hatch this year are some granite Max Max. So it looks like we've got some really nice ones in here. The, the granite pattern is just basically a really kind of diffusing of the pattern. So it can vary to extreme like this guy here, which is very extreme and then not so much where it looks a lot normal but then you'll get a little bit of it so you never know what you're going to get with these guys um, the ones that we have are all different varying um, amounts of granite so the babies vary as well but this is another really nice clutch with a lot of cute little babies and these guys are great most people love them they stay nice small size Crazy to think that we have rhino eggs. How absolutely amazing is that? If you enjoyed this video today, do me a favor, hit this playlist over here. That would help me out a tremendous amount. You can also do me another favor, hit that subscription button. That means the world to me. Thank you guys so much and have an absolutely wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to somebody and I promise I'll see you in the next one.